Virgo. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina and this is your weekly tarot reading, uh, April 19th through the 25th. If it's your first time with us, a couple things. Down below, there is a timestamp that'll bring you straight to the reading, straight to the card. Second thing, I usually get right into it within the first minute. I pull two layers. Let's get into the first layer now, Virgo. Let us see what energies you are navigating this week. All right, Virgo, April 19th. Ah, Ace of Cups and the Lovers wants to come out. All right, April 19th through the 25th for you. Wow, my God, your cards want to speak. Let me give these a few shuffles. All right, Virgo, we hear you. We hear you. I'm going to stop here. Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom. All right, Virgo. Ace of Pentacles came out. Such bright energies. It's so interesting because you have such positive energies available to you. But there's something in the recent past and it's still on your mind this week. And it has you not happy right now with the way things are in front of you. You're just, you're just, you're dissatisfied. There's a sense of dissatisfaction. However, there's a lot of, first of all, there's so much yellow on your spread, like yellow, 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 yellow. I'm thinking of like solar plexus chakra and really wanting to create and feeling empowered. Three of swords in the recent past. It led to this overall energy of the four of cups. You know, this is like, it could be hurt and it can be pain. It can be fear and it can be worries. It could be something real or it could just be things that we're actually worried about. Either way, this energy kind of transmuted into this four of cups, into this like dissatisfaction of what's in front of you. Three perfectly good cups in front of you, but we're not happy. We're not happy, right? We're not liking it or we're taking a step back right now to kind of think about things, right? Maybe you had an opportunity here and you've neither said yes or no yet because there is an opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles is the current situation. This is a real seed of opportunity. Maybe some of you do really get an offer here. It could be um, a job offer, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a chance to really manifest something here. There's an opportunity here to really build and create something, and it could definitely be in your material 3D reality. Um, like all Aces, they're just pure potential right now. We gotta show up, take the seed, accept it, do the work, nurture it, grow it, develop it. You know, you know the shipping. Four of Wands is in the challenge position. It's almost kind of like, Definitely feeling like you don't have something to celebrate, um, especially after having put work into a situation because the four of wands is the celebration and it is reaching milestones. And so it's like saying, hey, I don't know why, but we haven't reached something and you're wanting that reason to celebrate, but it's not here. Strength is on your mind saying, hey, I need to be strong here. I got to be strong here. You know, strength is about being gentle, being compassionate with others, with ourselves taking a very mature approach, mature approach, having a lot of inner strength, inner will, inner reserve here, loving all parts of ourselves, even the parts that we're not proud of. That's strength because that's what takes true strength. Your approach is the sun. Somebody's looking for happiness. Somebody's looking for a bright new chapter here. Somebody's chasing the sun. Some Somebody, I don't know why I keep saying somebody. <laughs> you, <laughs> um, you are chasing the sun. But like the sun is also, just like when you look at the fool and you look at the sun, you got children on these cards. And this represents like also understanding new beginnings, that you have new chances, right? New opportunities, that life is full of them, right? It's kind of like that. In your environment, you have a king of pentacles. So let's say if there is a work opportunity, this could be a mentor, this can be an investor. Maybe you have a very mature earth sign here. It feels really good with the king of pentacles. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, but very nice. Somebody you can count on, somebody who's like an entrepreneur, you know, somebody who really takes care of things, is stable and is secure. Great energy. Coming towards you is the Two of Pentacles. Definitely keeping balance, prioritizing, um, and also being like being in a really good place energetically where you can handle what life is throwing your way. Two of Pentacles. So let's go in and clarify all of these energies for you, Virgo. See what's happening. But yeah, it looks like, I mean, honestly, again, it looks like a really nice positive energies are available to you. 
But something here on a recent past is still lingering this week. All right, clarify these energies, please, for Virgo. We're going to stop it here. Queen of Cups is at the bottom. I like that energy a lot. Um, she is unconditional love. She has the most beautiful cup in the whole tarot as well. Four of Cups is here. I feel like there's an opportunity here and some of you didn't say yes or no yet. It's like you're making space. You are deciding. Should you take something? Should you not? What will you do? What will you do? Mm, I don't think you know yet. You do not know yet. I think some of you are distracting yourselves a little bit with work this week. Recent paths, you got the Fool and the Three of Swords. I don't know. Maybe some of you feel like you were taken for a fool. You were foolish. Maybe you feel like you were just like, you're like, I was such a fool. I can't believe I didn't see that. I don't know. Something here with the Fool and the Three of Swords can make us feel like we were foolish. We were naive. And we should have been smarter. We should have been more prepared, right? Um, or there's a heart pain here that didn't allow you for some reason. Like it's getting in the way of you embarking on some new beginning, right? That, that energy is present as well. Right now you have the Four of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I think you've taken a step back. I think there is disappointment here. And I think a lot of you are just really focused on work right now. That's what it feels like, Virgo. Um, some of you could be back in school. Some of you could just be like mastering a craft, really focused on the details here, really committed, really dedicated, like, you know, in this place of like willing to make sacrifices for the big picture. And you got the big picture on your mind, no doubt, because Ten of Pentacles is here. That's where your focus is. Strength is here. Ten of Pentacles is a card of family also. And so maybe this is like a situation with family and you're like, I really need to be strong here. I really got to think about the big picture. Current situation, you have Ace of Pentacles and Four of Cups. That's why I was saying I feel like there could be an opportunity and some of you said yes. Or I mean, you haven't said yes and you haven't said no yet. Deciding. Do you take that opportunity, right? Like there's a cup coming from the clouds there. There's a, um, there's a pentacle coming from the clouds here. Do you take it? This isn't um, in that deciding place. You're in that deciding place. In the challenge position, you have the Four of Wands. You also have the Three of Cups. So it's interesting because I was like, it just feels like there's nothing to celebrate right now. That's also a celebratory card, the Three of Cups. It's also about our emotional connections with other people. And Three of Cups says like, hey, we're feeling like connected. We're on the same emotional wavelength. It being in a challenge position can say you could feel a little disconnected. And make no mistake, there's two Four of Cups on your spread. And they're looking at three of cups here and they are not satisfied. There's also three swords here. So this could be a group dynamic here. I'm just saying, and it just feels like something just went sour here. Doesn't feel like major. It just feels like in general, right? We don't feel connected. It, it feels like disconnected or like, again, there's not something here to celebrate. Um, we should be at this place, but we're not there. You're remaining strong. Your approach though, clarifying the sun, you got judgment. You know that you've got a decision you need to make. This decision is around happiness, what will make you happy, what feels right, what are you connected to. It could be about you, yourself, rising from the ashes, right? Seeing the light, bringing the light back in. But you're in this place where you feel like you've got decisions you need to make, and I think you've just taken a step back here and you're making space. You're making space for these big decisions. I may even title it that, making space for these big decisions or decisions, right? Keep it more broad. Um, all right, in the environment, you have the Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles. You know, King of Pentacles is a very mature, it is a very stable energy. However, with the Seven of Wands, it does feel like there can be an earth sign here for some of you, really. And you're just feeling like you guys are not on the same team. Like, yeah, you're not emotionally connected, right? Like you're seven of wands. Like, look, you have these six wands. This is other people's opinions. And then there's you and you guys are on different sides, right? You're defending your ground. You know, you're having courage. You're taking a stand. You're defending your position. You know, just kind of defending yourself, really sticking your chest out, not letting anybody tell you what you should think, who you should be, where you should go. But seven of wands can also indicate while we may take a stand, we may need courage because we're while we know where we stand 100%, we're not 100% confident, you know, like that. 
and that's why you need the courage. I remind people, if ever you're dealing with this energy, remember that is you, the other wands are lower, so you are in a position of strength. So remind yourself that. Coming towards you. Two of Pentacles and the Magician, right? Um, this is just more of this, like, making space for your decisions. Um, the Two of Pentacles is still deciding, still weighing things, right? But it's still indecisive. It's like, yes, it's no. It's this option, it's that option. Which one do I take? Which one, what do I do? It's that kind of energy. And the Magician is about what are you going to, are you going to take it? Magician's about materializing things, making magic, right? Taking that seed, that idea, and bringing it to life. Right, showing up and doing what's necessary to not let it only be an opportunity, but let it blossom. But this is still indecisive. This is still weighing your options and trying to figure out where do you want to put that energy? Where are you going to go? What do you choose? What will you manifest? Um, that's that's what that's what comes to me for your reading here. But yeah, I really feel more than anything that you're making space for some kind of opportunity here or some decision here. Um, and you generally feel a little bit of a disconnect with you and maybe people that are really important to you in your life this week. But you're in a place where you're really trying to rise from the ashes. You're feeling empowered to do so and you feel like that opportunity is here. The sun and judgment are here in your approach. So I'll leave it there for you now. Um, hope you enjoyed it. More than anything, I hope this reading helps. Uh, if it does, please share it. Hit like, hit subscribe. As always, thank you and I'll see you all next week for my regular weekly readings.